I was just about to say they did. I just took my three minute privilege away. I actually though came back and now I got ten. Either way, I should hurry this fuck up because I can easily burn through ten or three quickly. So what I've come to learn about myself at is I have an avoid avoidant attachment style. And that's because I had such a terrific childhood. I just avoid people because oh I'm all people out. No, I had to deal with so many people and I was uh, one of those people that got overstimulated by the store lights, by too many people being around, by not knowing anybody's faces. I always try to stay close to my respective guardian. Or I would just opt out of not going shopping. Like It was like a conundrum for me because I always wanted to help with the groceries. But that also, technically speaking, in my head back then, that meant I had to go help secure the groceries as well as put them inside the car, as well as take them out of the car. But at some point or another, I was able to be... Because with the, as many siblings as I had, there had to have been others I could swap out with. And I was able but I just didn't really enjoy socializing with like the community because I was a cute kid. A very Caucasian community. I don't know, as an older adult with the mind that I have now, I thought that like maybe if I would've went shopping with them more just because supervision was so lax, I could have been easily human trafficked. I could have easily been taken away. But the fact that I'm fucking Haitian born, American raised, and like there wasn't really much of a paper trail, I would've been the perfect baby to fucking stay because I'm chocolate for one and I'm foreign, so they ain't gonna be looking for me. <laughs> and in the Caucasian community, <laughs> But, like, it, it's always baffled me the way that people attach to those that just... I've always said not healthy for them, but who am I to determine what's healthy for you? None of us are fucking immortal. We're gonna die, whatever the fuck death is. But it's just, I've noticed how some people just negatively affect others to a point where it's just like, you were happy, you were peaceful, you were calm, and then you added this to the mix. And it's just like, the whole entire recipe's fucked up, so... Uh, do you not remember how you used to make your whole entire happiness without them? Do you not remember how you used to make joy, how you used to have ambitions, how you used to feel purposeful? And do you remember that glow that you used to have? Because I do. And how am I going to be the rude dude to tell you that I know something different about you? I'm not saying that they're bad for you, but I... Like, if I had to do a personal assessment, like we're doing work shit, I would say you're, uh, you're, uh, you're not performing like you used to. And that could be because of the things that are going on in your personal life, or it could be... You know, you know, what, what, what has been new the last two months, three months, six years, five months, eight days, t 10 minutes? I don't fucking know. Like, what has been new? And I just, I don't know. I've always thought to me personally, it would just be easier just uh which is easier said than done because I do realize that some relationships are codependent on toxic behavior. In some relationships you can't leave because one of them is aggressive and will beat the living shit out of them. And there's really nowhere else to go because the system doesn't really implement, um, places for everybody to be able to feel safe and be able to get away from their aggressors like if you aren't blessed to have a good social community if not a good family foundation then it's just like it truly is you against the world and whoever the hell is willing to help you but how do you know what help looks like when everybody that used to help you are the exact same people that hurt you because they look nice like this when they come close to you and then they get really close to you and then they start hurting you and marking you when you try to tell other people are supposedly supposed to be there to help you protect you they're just like mm, no it sounds like you're making up a story so then you end up to grow up jaded and more secluded and want to be more isolated because you remember those things from being younger. It's like, well, those adults didn't help me, so why would these adults help me? And I do realize not all stories are one size fits all. Some people can go through the exact same shit and turn out to be angels. Some go through the exact same shit, turn out to be monsters. Some go through the exact same shit and not be changed whatsoever. Ever. It's just like everybody is different. Every blueprint is different. And I get that. And I'm aware of that. But I've always come into this common theme in my existence that always bothers me and the first time i saw it was my old man in the lake and everywhere else i see it but how their relationship works is basically how every other relationship works that i've come to know somebody holds a hierarchy in the relationship they control rather they're happy well the whole entire relationship rather that the relationship's happy rather the relationship success rather the relationship's failing and i'm just confused on that and then they're uh typically verbally abusive if not um manipulative as well as could possibly physically abusive and i'm just like it, 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 there's multiple fishes out in the sea you know you ain't gotta handle this you ain't gotta take this and i do like i said earlier in the state i do realize it's some it's easier for some than it is for others but in the people that i've encountered i it's like you do have options it's not like life or death like i've <laughs> which is why i've stopped inserting myself but in my younger years i used to insert myself in situations like that to try to help people get out of those situations just to watch them get back into them and then i'm just like I might have to kill somebody. It's either you or them. For some fucking reason, you're not learning a goddamn lesson. They better not hear it. Ain't you ain't fucking less abuse. You ain't fucking less. And I'm not here. It ain't fucking less. 
And from the stories that you've told me, the officers for some reason aren't willing to help you. Like, what the fuck? I thought they were supposed to protect and preserve the people. I hate listening to stories and not... Like, because I've always wanted to do actions. But like I said, what's the point of me doing something if they're going to run back to me? I've already done what I could verbally to get them away from them. And they go away just to come back in a couple weeks. Like, look, we're back. I promise we're back better than ever. Repeat. Bitch, this is season one. No matter how many times you re-release this, season one, two, three, five, six, seven, eighteen, it's gonna end the exact same fucking way. You guys aren't gonna stay together, but go ahead, keep rebooting this. Keep giving the pilot, bitch. I've already seen it. I don't wanna listen to it. Like I hope that you find your peace. I hope you find your love. I hope you find what works for you. But I will wholeheartedly agree that is not the person and I don't wanna hear shit about it anymore because I don't give a fuck. I've mended all your wounds as many times as I could, as many times as I thought, and at this point, I think I'm enabling you, so I don't give a fuck, I don't listen, I just want you to be happy, and if this makes you happy in a little delusional world, I, I'm just gonna ignore your bruises. And like, I work with the elderly, and I've been in psych wards before, and I know some people, like, you generally have to help them against their will, but I don't get paid. And it's, I'm not licensed, and I don't have the right stuff, like I said, I'd just rather just murder one of them. Preferably the aggressor, the one that keeps damaging the person that I keep trying to help heal, fix, but like I can only do as much as I can, as much as they're willing to allow me to do. But, you know, their childhood can be so bad that that's how they uh, assume love is, so like if it's not in that body, they're going to still find that same exact issue in a different body. So really, like I feel like if I murdered them, that just means they only never got to worry. They can finally be free and maybe in the next life, in the new world, a new restart, they can enjoy but just probably some crazy ramblings of a person. But like I said, I just, someone always had the power in the relationship. It wasn't like a fair back and forth, which is probably why a good amount of my relationships failed. Like I realized I did have controlling qualities, but I didn't say the controlling stuff. And then my nonchalant, and then back in my younger years, I just, just cheat because well, yeah, when I'm with my girlfriend, of course I've got a girlfriend. But when I'm not with my girlfriend, do you see your fucking girlfriend? Exactly. So no, I don't have a fucking girlfriend. Why, the f why would you even ask that? And it's just a lot of emotional shit that's just like, yeah, I realize I was an asshole, but I've changed. That's why I've just been hell for years at this point. Like, yeah, I, I would say I get as much... <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Women always got easier getting dick than dicks got it easier getting pussy unless you're rich, and I'm not rich. And I'm not that broken enough where just women just throw themselves at me like I am. I don't know where the fuck I stand in the whole entire community of dating pool and this and that. Like, awkwardly sexy, stupidly handsome, obliviously handsome. I don't fucking know. I, like, sometimes I can tell when a... Never mind, I'm kidding. I can never tell when a girl likes me. <laughs> Even when she overly compliments me, like, God damn, you're doing a good job at your work. Like, no, you're not wearing a uniform. But I don't know what the fuck your uniform looks like. You don't see your name tag. But I don't know if you forgot your name tag. Even though, like, I... I, I don't know. She's doing a great job at her job. Making sure that I don't feel insecure and try to either murder her, rape her, or kidnap her. So she's doing a great job making sure I'm not her first. Which is also a thought in my head, so I don't ever generally think women are complimenting me and complimenting me. I just think they're generally saying it just so they feel safer. And it's just like, okay, cool, and he's not pursuing me anymore. Now I can go the opposite way and hopefully not get murdered. Because guys need to be taught more on how to communicate their thoughts and opinions and be able to express their emotions. As well as women, I would say, need to learn how to communicate more clearly and honest and open, but at the same time, with the whole entire thread of your existence, yeah, I see why you guys would speak so deceitfully. How do you think I learned how to communicate in life? I used to speak honest like women. I didn't have to worry about being raped or molested, even though both of those happened. I just had to worry about being told, you're being difficult. That's stupid. That's rude. Why did you even say, what the fuck were you thinking? Why would you even do that? I do hope whoever is connected to a relationship that is just killing them, you eventually set yourself free and find what truly makes you happy, rather if it's within somebody else's body or if it's within only your own body. If you know it's poison, then why do you keep drinking it? You can hate yourself and still not drink the poison. I hate myself, and I'm still happily single and depressively single. But when I was in a relationship and depressed, it was mainly because of the partner that I chose, and that was because of me. And they were verbally abusive and sometimes physically aggressive, but like, bitch, kill me, because I'd rather be dead than live like this. But then again, I have also been called an extremist.